Welcome to Sailing Zoe. We are a family of four who bought a salvaged catamaran sailboat. We are on a mission to fix it up and sail the world. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, or join our Patreon group, and welcome aboard. Here you can see this is the section where the daggerboard was in. Now that the structural work has been done, surveyed, and the boat deemed as solid as the day it came out of the factory, it is time to start rebuilding the interior. I'm in here cutting boards, and I'm also cutting foam, which uh, on the katana is used to um, keep stuff extra light instead of like a two by four in the wall uh, that's wood, it's a uh, foam. It's supposed to be like really strong. There used to be a wall and a doorway. That had to be taken out to inspect the bulkheads. If you're interested in seeing the structural grinding and glassing work that was done before this point, check out some of our previous videos on our channel. Just trying to figure all that out in order to make the right cuts and put it all back. Let's see, let's take a look back here. Um, I've done, got this paneling up. I've got this frame cut out. I'm gonna be laminating that and then putting this in. I've got the new foam blocks here. Foam blocks all supporting to give, you know, push. So if you push on it, the wall doesn't bend. Um, it's nice and solid. And then I did that section over there. That was my first section. You can see there's like a, a larger uh, crack there. So that'll have a, a gray caulking line. These boards had to be uh, replaced because it was cut all throughout here. So basically I took a little two by two or four by four block, glued it, screwed it, put another board across and that gives me my bracing for the ceiling panels. Now that I have been cutting all the boards to the right size, I've also needed to cut the laminate. The marina that we were at was building a restaurant at the time we were rebuilding our boat. They were generous enough to allow me to use a section of their building while they were still under construction to cut and prepare our walls. Of others, I'm gluing them on over here. So once they get glued on, then I'm laying them up to dry here and then gluing them into, or uh, it, uh, gluing them with 5200 into, into the boat. Let me show you how you do it, or at least how I do it. I'm not sure this is necessarily the exact way, but I do watch a lot of YouTube videos. All right, it's about 9.30 and uh, got a lot more laminated. Got everything laminated, with the exception of a couple pieces that I cut incorrectly. But yeah, this is the lamination for the vast majority of the boat. Um, yeah, I should start seeing this stuff go up, seeing some real progress, at least visual progress on the boat. All right, I'm going to get a beer and go to sleep. All the laminate is cut a little larger than the wood that it is glued to. After the pieces are dry, I then need to use my Makita router that I got at Goodwill for $10 to trim the edges of the laminate flush with the boards. Now I'll just need to sand, uh, clean these edges, but uh, I can go quick. Okay, got the door frame now in. Oops, shoot, shouldn't touch that. Got some 5200 still drying. And then I got my clamps, which work as spreaders. But it turns out when you put spreaders together like that, they tend to like flop. So that one's being held up and this one's being taped uh, with a board. So I don't know, we'll see if it works. But just trying to get it all figured out. During the construction, Christy was homeschooling and caring for Avery and Fitz while we were staying at a condo next to the marina. It's haircutting day at Casa Knox. How much do you think you want to cut off? Your beautiful new hair. Let's see your new haircut. Aves, can you show me our kite? Is this yeah. your first time flying a kite? Uh, no, I fly the kite. Two, three. <laughs> the kids and I are off to a fossil museum 
in Aurora, Aurora, North Carolina. What do you think, Fitz? You wanna see this walrus tusk? Not only can that's kids look of, for fossils, the but they can dig for fossils. The local mine frequently dumps new rock piles, and we found 10 shark teeth while we were there. So recently I've really been struggling with just being here in Bellhaven, North Carolina. There's not a ton to do with the kids. We have to drive, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and a half to get anywhere, to do anything. Um, Clint's been doing all the boat work by himself and I've just been feeling pretty down and like, there's not much to do. There's not much sensation. Even this morning was kind of rough. Clint and I talked and I've just decided I need to get back to doing some boat projects. I'm gonna start removing the old boat name and decals. I just need to get to work. I need to get something done and be productive and hopefully that starts to help. It's been a very slow hurricane season uh, so far, but now Hurricane Ian uh, is going through Florida, North Carolina, which is the state we're in, has declared a state of emergency more in preparation than really um, an emergency currently. Uh, and it looked like it was going to miss us but it, it appears that we're going to get at least some pretty decent winds and they're coming in uh friday morning this is thursday morning right now and you can you can really feel the energy in the air uh, and just around the dock with people these are not floating docks so the concern is that the water level could go above the docks and then if boats get pushed they get pushed onto onto the docks Clint is heading over to the boat to check on it. We've had a rise in the water level, but we're still looking good. He's just going over, I'd say every, I don't know, two or three hours to check on the boat. Plenty of room on this side. It's about the same amount of room on the other. The water got about six inches from the top of the docks and then receded. All right, it's really hard to see right now. The water is legitimately Although it was nerve-wracking, no one at the marina sustained um, any substantive damage. Once the lightning passed, we got the kids outside to show them that storms can also be fun. Ha <laughs> ha